God is saying, get ready to get crowned. Your anointing is going to a whole nother level. Amen. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. What's up to the WTC family? How we feeling, y'all? What's up to the chosen ones? What's up with the star seeds to the divine ones all over the world? Grand rising on this beautiful day. This is the day that Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. God is saying, get ready to get crowned. That's right. Get ready to receive your crown because your anointing is going to a whole nother level. Amen. For we know that it's the anointing that destroys every single yoke. We know that without the anointing, you won't be able to destroy the yokes. You won't be able to, you know, destroy those negative spirits or those negative energy around you. So God is saying, I'm going to give you the anointing on a whole nother level. So everything you do, every praise that you give unto me, amen, every gift that I have given you to use for my glory, amen, God's saying your anointing is going to be on a whole nother level and you about to get ready to be crowned. That's deep. But you have to be faithful. You have to be obedient to God in order to receive the crown. Amen. A king shall wear his crown. A queen shall wear her crown. Amen. We have to be faithful over a few things. That way God can make us ruler over many. Amen. We have to be ye separate. Come out from amongst these people that don't want to see God, that don't want to do God's will, that don't want to do God's way. We have to come out from these people because I'm going to tell you something. The only things you do for Christ will last. The only things you do for Christ will last. But we have to be obedient, y'all. And when I mean obedient, when I mean faithful, that means consistent. Standing on his word, consistent in praying, consistent in worship, consistent in, in treating people right, loving everybody. Understand what I'm saying? Because we have to believe that we are the church. You know, it don't have to be just on a Sunday. Come on now. It don't have to be just on a Wednesday night Bible study night. Come on now. It has to be Sunday through Saturday, doing God's will, spreading God's gospel. Amen. Doing what God always wanted us to do. That's why I'm be able to tell you that get ready to receive your crown because God is about to take your anointing to a totally different level. Everything you touch turns into gold. Everything that you praised and worshiped for is going to come to pass. Understand what I'm saying? You guys have prophetic gifts. You guys are, are, are gifted in the choir. You guys can sing. Some of you guys can play the, the organ. You know, some of you guys can play the guitar. God is saying your anointing is about to be on a whole new level. But first, you have to be faithful and obedient. God said you have to be faithful and obedient. You cannot receive the crown until you be faithful and obedient. I did take a break, but God knows when is the right time to come back. I have to get myself together. Understand where I'm coming from. God knew my heart, but God saying he had to get me right. So when I do come back, I will be ready. Amen. To withstand these fiery darts coming from the devil. Come on now. I need everybody to comment 11 11 right now. I need everybody to subscribe to my channel. I need everybody to share each and every one of my videos as well. Because guess what? If you check out my previous videos, God is doing a new thing in our lives, y'all. We can allow no distractions to get in our way. Understand what I'm saying? We can allow no, no setbacks to try to come and take us back to where we once was. We have to keep pressing towards the mark of the price of the high calling in Jesus' name. So shout out to my new subbies. Shout out to my original subscribers. I appreciate you guys for the love, for the support. But I'm here to tell y'all right now, get ready to receive y'all crown. Get ready to receive y'all crown. God is getting ready to take your anointing to a totally different level. Understand what I'm coming from. 
That means God is going to really use you for his glory. God is saying, get ready to get back in the field. I've been sitting out a little bit too long. God is saying, get ready to get back in the field. Like I said, I have to take care of a couple of things. I have to get my mind right. I had to get my uh, my body right, my spirit right. Hey, understand what I'm coming from. In order for God to do a new thing in my life, I have to be separate and came out from amongst these people. Because guess what? I wasn't getting the full benefits from God. God said, I isolated you for a reason. Because your comeback going to be bigger than your setback. He said, you no longer have to go back to that setback. You no longer have to go back to that no good thing. God said, come out from amongst it and do not return. God is about to give me a strong anointing and I feel it, I know it. This is something that I just know, guys. And I feel it all the way deep down in my spirit because I have been faithful and true. Let me tell you something, guys. What's done in the dark will soon come to the light. See, a lot of people want to claim that they're chosen. A lot of people want to claim that they're prophets, right? But let me let you know something. What's done in the dark will come to the light. And you wonder why, you know, certain people don't have the anointing. Certain people just get up in front of church and just do things without the anointing. Me personally, I can't do it. I can't get in front of the, uh, of the church and, and, and do what God has called me to do. Knowing that I'm in my mess, knowing that I'm deep in my sins. Understand what I'm saying? I have to be filled with the anointing. I have to be forgiven for my sins. I have to be consecrated. I have to fast. I have to be filled up with his Holy Spirit. In order for the anointing to be on a whole nother level, you have to follow by these guidelines for the Lord. Come on, understand where I'm coming from. Before I get up, I have to be consecrated, prayed up. Because it's not about me. I don't want to get up in self. I don't want to get up and, and, and swinging my arms all over the place just for recognition or just for a pat on the back. I'm not doing it for that. I'm doing it for the Lord Jesus Christ. So I want my anointing to be as strong as it can be so it can destroy every yoke it can break every chain amen god has called us to do his will and god is saying we need to step out and do his will seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto us guys just hang in there i know it might be tough sometimes but hang in there. God is about to take your anointing to a totally different level. Just by talking to people, people are going to feel your anointing. People are going to feel the presence of the Lord is with you. Just by praying with people. You're going to be praying with people outside of church. We don't always have to think we got to pray with people inside of church. God is going to use you outside of church. Amen. That's why he said go into the fields. Preach the gospel. Tell people of his goodness, man. You know. Come on, understand where I'm coming from. But be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Amen. And let these haters hate. Let these haters hate. Let the enemy say what they're going to say. Let these people do what they're going to do. Because God is getting ready to take you to a totally different level. We don't have time to go back to the past. We don't have time for arguments. We don't have time for going toe to toe to people. I don't have time. Because I want all what God has for me. Understand what I'm saying. And just know that if God is for you, can nobody be against you. Understand where I'm coming from. If you guys would love to be a blessing to my YouTube channel, my cash app is God will provide three zero. I also have a PayPal account as well. My PayPal is God will provide three zero. It's the same exact thing as my cash app. And it will also be in the description below. That's if God put it in your heart to give. But what I'm saying right now, guys. God is getting ready to do a new thing in your lives, man. So guess what? God going to give you a new, fresh anointing. Understand what I'm saying? God is going to give you a new mind, a new spirit, a new heart. You're coming out brand new. You're coming out with your hands up. Understand what I'm saying? No more struggle. No more struggling. God is getting ready to break the chains, break the curses from your life, break the generational curses that have been over your life over the years. No weapon that is formed against you will prosper in the name of Jesus. You can do all things through Christ, which give you the strength. All you have to do is believe. 
That's all you got to do is believe, man. I promise you, God going to make a way for you. God going to move mountains on your behalf. But you have to be faithful. You have to be true to the Lord. You have to be obedient. Shout out to the WTC family. Shout out to the few members, the new members that I just joined to the family. Shout out to the WTC family members. Welcome. That's right. It's more and more people joining the WTC family. And that's called We the Chosen Ones. Like I said, many are called, but a very few are chosen. And you best believe I'm doing some evaluation. You know me, y'all. Y'all know me. I don't play. <laughs> but welcome. We do have some new members to the WTC family. We the chosen ones, baby. And like I said, we riding for Jesus, man. That's it. I don't want y'all to get it misconstrued. We're going for Jesus. We're riding for Jesus. We're going to meet up in real life. We're going to do some things that's never been done before. Go out and talk to the public. Go out and see where these people head is at and draw men unto the Lord. That's what God wants us to do. Amen. So if you guys want to be a part of the WTC family, sign up for the WTC mentoring program. Understand where I'm coming from. Email me. Jordan underscore Howard, the number one eight at yahoo.com. Understand what I'm saying? Because guess what? We're going for Jesus all the way. Understand what I'm coming from. I need you guys to comment 1111 as we just surpassed 11 minutes and 11 seconds. I need everybody to comment 1111 in Jesus' name because we're definitely looking for new beginnings. Let's keep this energy flowing. Let's keep this energy going. Shout out to my, my viewers as well. Y'all showing love. Y'all showing major love. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I'm constantly praying and intervening on you guys' behalf. Grand Rising is going to be a beautiful day. Beautiful day today. I'm claiming it right now in Jesus' name. What is it today? Saturday? Beautiful day. I got me some good sleep. I'm going in today. Yes, that's right. I'm going in on a Saturday. I'm going in on Sunday. God is doing some good things in my life. I can't stop. I can't give up now. So I need everybody to share this video. I need everybody to subscribe. Let's keep this energy going. Shout out to the new subbies. I love you guys. I'll see you guys. Trust me. I know who my subbies are. Shout out to my original subscribers. Appreciate you guys. Continue to keep me lifted in prayer. And I will definitely do that for you. But I do want to say a prayer for the prayer request that I just received in my emails. I'm getting a lot of prayer requests. A lot. Thousands amongst thousands of prayer requests. So you guys know me. You know, prayer it changes things. I definitely believe in prayer. So you guys have any prayer requests, you know, don't hesitate. You know what I mean? If you need somebody to vent to, or if you have a really specific prayer request, I keep it personal between me and you. You got my word. Feel free to shoot me an email. Jordan underscore Howard, the number one eight at yahoo.com. Any prayer requests, because I definitely believe in the power of prayer. And like I said, God is, he's, he's getting ready to do some things in our lives. We have to stay focused, but let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in our sight. Oh, Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Father God, we just thank you for this day. Thank you for this is the day that you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad. Forgive us for all of our sins, Father God. And if you find anything that's in us that shouldn't be, take it out right now. Thank you, Lord, for washing us and cleansing us in your blood. Thank you for another chance, another day. Thank you for another opportunity to get to the kingdom of heaven, Father God. We blot out every distraction that so easily possesses us from the love of Christ. Help us to put on the whole armor of God, Father God, so we can withstand these fiery darts coming from Satan. We put the devil under our feet. No weapon that is formed against us will prosper. Lord, I am praying amongst the prayer requests that I've been receiving, Father God, that you will move on this situation, Lord. You will bless each and every prayer request. You know them name by name, person by person, Father God. So we ask, Lord, that you would grant them this prayer request, Father God, and that you will move on their behalf in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against them will prosper, Father God. Bless them financially, spiritually, mentally, Father God, emotionally, Father God. Move on their family, Father God. We come against generational curses right now. Come against jealousy and envy, you know, from these people and from these prayer requests that have been sent. People at their jobs, co-workers, Father God. We come against it all with the blood of Jesus. Pray that there will be peace in a time of storm. Pray that there will be reconciliation in a time of a disagreement, Father God. As we look up to the hills from which cometh our help, knowing that our help cometh from you, Father God, who made the heavens and the earth. We thank you. We give you all the praise. Renew the right spirit within us right now, Father God. If you find anything that shouldn't be, take it out right now because we're only human. We're not perfect. 
You know, let's keep it real, Father God. We're only human. So we ask you that you will move on us, move in our hearts and our minds and our spirits. We give us a refresh anointing, a refreshing of the anointing. Refresh us, refill us up with the Holy Spirit. We plead the blood of Jesus on every single hand, for we know that it's the anointing that destroys every yoke, every foul spirit of the devil. And we thank you, Father God. We give you all the glory, all the praise. We come against generational curses that fathers will be great fathers, mothers will be great mothers, and everybody will live happily every live happily ever after under under your will, Father God. And we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. And we put the devil on our feet this morning, Father God. I pray that everybody will have a blessed day today, Father God. Pray that you will move by your Holy Spirit today, Father God. Touch sick, sick bodies right now. By your 39 stripes, Father God, these people are healed. A lot of people are really sick. A lot of people are going through this COVID-19. Father God, through this Delta variant, we come against every disease, every attack of the enemy. We cancel it out right now. In the name of Jesus, go back to the pits of hell to where you belong, devil. In the name of Jesus, every disease we cast it, we 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 cast it into the lake of fire. In the name of Jesus, that we'll get back to living our normal lives, Father God. We come against masks and everything that we'll get through this, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we give you all the glory, all the praise. Ask you to touch the bereaved families right now, Father God. Families that are just lost loved ones, Father God. Touch them, Lord. You know, mend the broken heart right now. In the name of Jesus, mend those broken hearts right now, Father God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, it's not easy losing a loved one, Father God, but we cast all our cares upon you, Lord, because you said you care for us. We know that you care for us. Help us to be strong in the name of Jesus during this season, Father God. And we love you. Help us to be loving, kind, and patient, but give us knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Help us not to be ignorant concerning taking his devices, Father God. And we be so careful to give you the praise. We'll give you the glory and the honor. Fill us up with the anointing, Father God. Our cup will want run over in the name of Jesus. We also believe in 1111 comments, Father God. I pray that each and 1111 comment will be uh, granted in the name of Jesus, that you will bless these people with finances, Father God, new beginnings, Father God, in the name of Jesus, abundance, prosperity, wealth, in the name of Jesus, by your Holy Spirit, everything is going to be done by your Holy Spirit, and we love you, and we give you all the praise, all the glory and honor, and all these many blessings that we ask, in Jesus' name we pray, let every heart say amen. And amen again. And just know, guys, you know, if you need a friend, you got it in me. Amen. If you need prayer, you have a prayer warrior in me. Amen. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you have the best motivational speaker in the whole wide world in me. Amen. We the chosen ones. Be blessed.